okay? Can everybody see me? So I'm okay? Okay, awesome. Well, here we go. We are going to grab your blanket or your pillow or whatever you have. And that's gonna go right underneath our knees and we're gonna start laying all the way down. And if this is a little bit tight on your low back or any part of your back, just bend your knees, just bring your knees to your mat. Sometimes that low back can give us a little grief. So our arms are along our side with our palms facing up. And think about your shoulders, like you're going to rotate those shoulders so they're on the mat. And then I want you to start with a few deep inhales and exhales. And then scan your body, seeing how everything feels. How your spine feels. Shoulders. Your neck. You're focusing in on parts of your body. If you choose to set an intention, this would be a good time. Bring your feet to the mat and then your knees to your chest. Whatever works comfortable for you. And then we're gonna go in circles with your feet one direction. And then reversing that. And then releasing that. Flexing your feet back. And if you're holding onto your knees like I am, bring your arms down to your side. And our feet are neutral. We're gonna go in small circles with our knees, starting on one side. Going around, trying, maybe starting with a smaller circle first, if that works. And if it's comfortable enough for you, working into a little bit bigger circle. And then we're going to reverse those circles going the opposite way.
And Liana, we're starting on the floor with um, a blanket or a pillow under your knees. And then bringing our knees in. Now you can relax those circles with your knees. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring our feet to the mat, moving that one foot or toe off to the side. And then walking our feet out to the edge of the mat. Dropping our knees to one side. And then we're going to bring them back up and then we're going to go to the other side. Just noticing your range of motion, bring your knees back up, going to the right side again, and up and then to the opposite. We're going to keep this going. Working at your pace, and if you feel like you need a variation of this, feel free to do that. Your knees do not have to come down far. This opens our hips. A couple more on each side. And then release. We're going to bring our feet as close to your hips as you're comfortable, crossing the right leg over the left into a figure four. Now coming through, if you choose, holding onto your hamstring or your shin. I guess I'm noticing that my shoulders are up to my ears. Releasing the shoulders down. And then we're going to go gradually side to side with this, noticing again how that feels. If your hips are tight, you'll notice this. And then back to neutral, bringing that right foot down and then crossing the left. And do the same the opposite way. And we're going to relax your shoulders and then possibly rocking side to side. Maybe just in the basic figure four is what works for you tonight. That's fine. Ensure that we're listening to our body. And then gradually release that right foot comes down and the left foot comes down. Lengthening your legs long. And bring your arms away. Bring your fingertips to the front and your toes to the back. Or maybe it's the opposite. Toes to the front and fingertips to the back. And then we're going to bring our arms down. Bring that right knee in. Hold that in. And we're going to do circles again with the ankle. And reverse. And then flex. Point. One more time. Flex. And point. Lengthening the right leg long. 
And then bringing that left in close to your body. Ankle circles. Reverse. And point. Flex. Point. Flex. Bring that right knee in to match the left. And we're going to hold them in. And you're probably noticing like the massaging going on with the inside too, with our colon, which is, which is good. Now your choice to rock and roll up or just get up. So if you're going to rock and roll up, we're going to do that a few times. And back. And up. A couple more times. And then we are going to sit cross-legged. Think about sitting against a wall. We're going to bring that right arm right out. So you're on your floor, your carpet. Trying to get your whole palm on the floor or carpet. And then we're going to gradually tip that right ear to the right armpit. So you're looking opposite away of your right side, your right arm. And then even I like to press my palm down you can get a little bit deeper stretch with that. And slowly bring yourself up. And we're going to go the opposite on the left. Depending on how long your arms are, you might have to lean slightly. And then drop the left ear to the left. Get looking away, a little pressure on your hands, possibly. And then gradually release. Dropping our shoulders from our ears. Now we're going to bring them up and back and round. One more time this way up, back, drop down and round. Let's do that with our breath. With the next inhale, bring them up. Exhale, drop back and around. Inhale, bring them up. Exhale, drop them down and around. One more time, inhaling up. And with that exhale, drop around. Good job. Coming to all fours into a tabletop. And we're going to start with our shoulders up, the top of our head down. We're putting a lot of pressure on those fingertips. And then we're going to release, dropping that belly down, making sure that you're, there's no kinks in your neck. So it's so easy to really kink it. Back to cat. And then drop down to cow. And back to all fours. We're gonna roll our toes forward, walk our hands back, and come all the way up. So we're gonna be in mountain pose. And I just did a class for 
ages nine to 12 kids. And there's a few things that I think are good for like a regular yoga class. And one of them was in mountain pose, and then think about the mountains. And when I think about the mountains, I just think how beautiful they are. And then I'm wondering how they got formed and how old they are. And when I did this class, we talked about that the mountains go through mudslides, they go through rain, hail, snow, earthquakes, and then going through all that, they still stand strong in mountain, in the mountains. Um, let's put, put a new perspective. You guys probably thought that before, but um, never did. So with our next inhale, our arms are gonna come up. Exhale to a straight back, bending those knees, making sure that your body's ready to elongate your spine. Hips are to the back, top of the head is to the front, really stretching out. Dropping a little bit deeper. Your choice of where your hands and arms are. Sometimes moving around also feels good in this. Back to half of a lift or straight back. Next inhale, back to mountain. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, straight back. Inhale, fold forward deeper. And exhale, straight back, holding it here. And then back on the next inhale, back up to mountain. Widening our feet just a little bit. We're gonna come into the bear pose. I have not done this for a long time. So we're gonna to come to a squat. So think about your hips coming up first. And then we're gonna come down into a squat that's comfortable for you. Then think about a straight back and then think about your arms out, clasping them and the palms forward. So you're pretty well into a straight back like this. So wherever your squat is, maybe it's really low, maybe it's hardly at all. Listen to your body. So we're looking down. We're gonna release our hands are gonna come on the mat and we're gonna inhale to half a lift. And with the exhale all the way up. Good job. Mountain pose. Strong mountain pose. Inhaling up. Exhaling, half a lift. Inhaling, plank. And watching, um, watching your body. Feel it. Know where you need to be. Any variation is welcomed. If you're on your toes, your heels are to the back. The top of the head is to the front. A lot of strength in your heart area. You're opening your heart. Try not to let that belly sag. And drop down. All the way down, coming into a cobra. So our chin is tucked right now. Our arms are close to our body. Trying to relax your back. And then slightly opening your heart and lifting. Just a little lift. And releasing this. And we're going to do this with our breath also. 
On your next inhale, we're going to lift slightly. With the exhale, bringing your head down. Inhale, up. And exhale. One more time, inhaling and exhaling. Release. Toes forward, coming to a plank, remember of your choice. And to down dog. Coming your heels out. And lifting the right leg up into a three legged dog. All the way through to a high lunge. Getting your feet situated first and then bringing yourselves up. Left hip, we're going to bring that forward slightly. Think about your shoulders are down. Good form. And with our arms down from our belly, we're going to twist to the right. Back to center. We're going to bring our arms up. And again, think about those shoulders down. And we're going to twist again into the right. Coming back. Bring our arms to the sides, fingertips out. And twist. Coming back to center. And right with our hands together to prayer hands. I'm going to release that left foot, matching it with the right, and then coming into our chair pose. Hips back first, and then down. Strong back. Pressing those palms together, your elbows are to the sides. And then our arms are down the next inhale. All the way up, right into mountain pose. Next inhale, arms up. Exhale, half lift. Inhale to plank. I'm going to go to a side plank on my right side, whatever side you want. Remember, your knee can be down. We're going to come right back into a front plank. And then the opposite. Bring your arms up. Back to front. Slowly lowering or belly flopping. And then to your cobra or rock dog. Down dog. Left leg, three legged dog. All the way through to a high lunge. Twisting to the left. Back to center. We're going to bring our arms up, shoulders are down. Twist again. 
center, arms are out to the side, and twist again. Back to front. Right leg matches the left, right into chair pose. Back is strong, arms are out to the side. And arms are forward. And arms are to the back. Dropping our arms. The next inhale, all the way back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, half a lift. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Hold in here. And we will go through this little sequence with our breath. We're going to inhale to start. Exhale, plank. Inhale, lower. Exhale, cobra or up dog. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, plank. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up dog. One more time to a down dog, holding here. We're going to come into a three-legged dog, but before we do that, with the right leg, I want you to think of lifting it up slightly and then think about pressing the wall away so it's strong up into a three-legged. All the way through to a high lunge. And arms are up. Straightening that right leg. And then coming back down into your lunge. Again. And then back down. Holding it here. The next inhale, straighten that right leg. Staying here, exhaling and twisting to the right. Inhale, arms up, back to your regular lunge. Left leg meets the right into chair pose. Keeping your arms up, right through your ears. Maybe get a little lower in that spot. And then hands to prayer hands. Twisting to the right. Right elbow should be right up to the ceiling. Back to center. And then we're going to twist to the left. Left arm up to the ceiling. Both knees are aligned. And then back to center. And then all the way back up. Good job. Mom calls. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, half of a lift. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. And then inhale, dog. Over here. Toes forward to down dog. So a three-legged dog on the left, but when you slightly start to lift, press that wall away from the back. And then all the way forward to a high lunge. Bring those arms up. Straightening that left leg. And then back down. Next inhale, straighten that right leg, left leg. 
and then down. One more time, straightening, holding it here. And with that exhale, twist. Back to that center point, down to the high lunge or up or wherever you are at. And then we're gonna put our arms up to the side. Next inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, twist. Inhale back. And then exhale right back to that high lunge. Chair poles. Arms stay out. Make sure your neck is comfortable. And prayer hands. Pressing those palms, elbows to the side, twisting to the left. Left elbow up. Back to center. Pressing your palms together, twisting to the right. Right elbow is up. Knees are in alignment. And then back to center. Next inhale, all the way back up, arms are up. And then exhale, arms are down. Nice work. We are going to, oh, we're going to be much at the top of your mat or closer to the front of your mat. And we're going to rip that left foot down. Gradually bring that right knee up. And it can be that you can be on a big toe. You feel like you want to raise it up higher. You want to hold it. That's fine. You want to bring your arms up. And then we're, if your arms are up, we're going to bring them down. We're going to come back into a low lunge. And with that low lunge, we're going to drop that right knee down. And then we're going to fold the left hand coming into a pigeon. Think about those hips pretty level. And right now we're on our palms. That right toe is pointed to the back. And even if you feel like you want to come into a, a slight back bend, Feel free to do that. So this part is working our back. And then our second part is working our hips. And then we're going to come down to your elbows if you can. If that's comfortable, just get into it a little deeper work. Work into it what your body wants. Paying attention to your breath. Just following the breath from those inhales all the way to the exhale. In through your nose, out through your nose. And then we're going to come back to our hands. And then we're going to release. We're coming out of this pose. We're going to match our knees up, widen, widening them, and bringing your toes together. Bringing your lower body back as in child's pose. We're going to keep our upper body up just a little bit, dipping into a couple good breaths in and out. And then coming all the way down. And then release. And back to all fours. And we're going to roll our toes forward. Coming back. And if you can, coming all the way 
back. Stretching your feet. And then release, bringing up to standing. And to the top of your mat. We're going to root down on that right side, get your balance good, and then bring that left up wherever you're comfortable. Arms are down, coming back into a low lunge, dropping that left knee. And then folding the right in, coming into a pigeon. Hands on the mat, left toes are to the back. Slight back bend if you choose. You feel like you want to stay here or drop down to your elbows. Any way that works for you, making sure though that your hips are as low as possible. And back to your arms if you weren't there. And to all fours. Winding your knees, toes together, bringing that upper or lower body back. And our arms are going to come along our side with our palms up and your forehead down. Three cycles of breath here. And when you're ready, coming back up. And we're going to come to King Arthur, bringing ourselves next to your couch or chair, a wall if you have a wall. And I'm going to start with my left, whatever leg you want to start with. Sure, those left or right toes, whatever leg is bent, those toes are to the ceiling. Bring that right up. Think about the right knee or whatever knee is forward, up right above the ankle. And then doing what works for you. I need to stand up. Or bring your back straight. Arms are up if you choose. And breathe. If your arms are up, bringing them down, we're going to switch sides. And switch. And switch.
and release. Good work. Bring your mat back. And coming to sitting. And slowly lowering down to your mat. Heels are close to your hips and your feet are about hip width apart. Your spine is comfortable. Coming up into a bridge. Lengthening your knees forward. Choose, you can bring your hands underneath. You can kind of rotate those shoulders. And then really slowly bring yourself down. And our knees are in and our legs are long. Just give this a, a try. We're going to gradually lift our hips and come down. Not a lot of swing with your legs or a lot of pressure in your arms. Just trying to get those hips lifted slightly and back down. And a few more times. And our feet come to the mat, the soles of our feet together, and knees to the side. Now, if this ever bothers your hips, feel free to prop them up with something, your blanket or your pillow or a book. Always re remember that. It's times when our hips are tighter for whatever reason, our hands are overhead. Let's get some deep breaths in and out. And feet to the mat, legs are long and off to the side slightly. Coming into a star pose. Feel free to use your arms the same way, you don't have to. I like the star pose because with with the deeper inhales and exhales, you can just feel the air through your whole body. Really concentrate on getting the air moving everywhere in your body. One more inhale and exhale this way. So come into a comfortable position for Shavasana. Whatever works the best for you. If you feel like you're a little chill, grab that blanket. Wrap around you. And I want to 
want you to scan your body right now for any tightness in your legs, your hips, your back. Neck. Come into breathing that's comfortable for you. Relaxing your right shoulder. Your right arm. Right leg. And foot. Relaxing your left shoulder. Arm. Leg. And foot. Bring your attention back to your intention. Bring your feet to the mat. Roll to the right, stacking your hips and stacking your knees. Yourself up to sitting. Legs are crossed. Hands together by your heart. Soft hands, soft arms, soft shoulders. Your gaze is slightly down. A few positive ways to move through anxiety or worried feelings is to do a ceremony, to allow our emotions to process. 
Maybe plant some flowers or trees. Plan an activity for a farewell send off. Or maybe a housewarming party, which may satisfy the need we feel. Together, arms are up with an inhale. Arms down, chin to chest, exhale. Namaste. Thanks for joining me. We're going to hit the recording button.